So we're off on our maiden voyage here. Uh, I do not have a ton of experience using tillers, so I definitely gotta get used to this a little bit here. It'll come in time, and my gosh, does this engine want to run. We'll have to kind of get a feel for it because like, I could get moving real quick here. We can't quite run full steam yet because we still need to break the boat in, but we're gonna give it a little juice now that we're out of a, a no wake zone here and just see how it feels. This is absolutely insane. Well, there's the boat in all its glory at the moment. We're gonna throw the drone up in a little bit and get some running shots and try to do a bunch of different stuff like that. But right now, let's see if we can catch a big snook. For some reason, it didn't occur to me that I should, you know, get a push pull for the skiff. Uh, I just like totally lapsed my mind. So we'll rock an old school paddle today and then we'll pick up a push pull. It is insane how stable this deck is up front on this boat. All right, off to the next spot. Current game plan. We're gonna go way back in the river and look for tarpon and snook. This morning I've kind of been fishing, but more just kind of like puttering around, getting comfortable with the boat and driving it and fishing off of it. It fishes so well. Like, it is so stable on the bow. It is insane. And I'm trying to be responsible and breaking the engine properly, but I've been dying and maybe I've gassed it a few times here and there, but we're trying to just kind of idle around and break it in and do the right thing here. But we're going to cruise way back in the river in this no wig zone and hopefully go find some big snook and tarpon deep in the jungle. dead baby gator. That's very interesting. Maybe a boat ran him over or somebody was fishing and let him eat their fish or bait or lure and killed them and choked them. It's a bummer.
this river that I'm on, I have fished it my entire life. And this is the furthest up I've ever gone in. I've never even seen this part of the water before. It gets super skinny and narrow and it is unbelievably beautiful. It's crazy <laughs> where this little boat's already taking us, but I'm hoping we can catch some tarpon and some big snook way back here. All right, we are leaving the backcountry currently. It was really just an excuse to drive the boat around. The fishing was secondary today for the most part. We'll see if maybe we'll catch a fish on our way out, but I really, I mean, I've, <laughs> I've maybe fished collectively like 25 minutes today. It's more about just getting the boat broken in and run around. The wind's picking up a little bit, and so we're gonna have a nice far run back to the ramp, so we might give her a little juice and see what she can do here. I'm like quarter throttled. I mean, I don't even think you understand. I am barely giving it gas right now, dude. We're running it through the main bay right now. And it's a little choppy. I think it's blowing about 14 dead out of the east. We're handling fine, maybe a little bump up and down, but uh, I haven't quite dialed in my settings yet with the jack plate. I've never used one before. 